can we talk everyone hey 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 how are you guys hopefully you guys are having a blessed day uh this is my last day at the beach that's right this is my last day but you know what i'm gonna enjoy it to the full um can we talk that's what i want to ask you can we talk i want to tell you guys the power of real true networking my um i'm sitting here i was just done with breakfast drinking my coffee and my mentor calls me russ clark he calls me he's out in columbia south carolina and uh, he's shopping at a Foot Locker. so there's a young man out there uh, his name is joshua taylor and uh, he's an actor just got out of acting school about six three um and so russ gives me a call immediately and he says hey i got this young man here he's a good looking guy you know he's in shape looks like he plays ball uh, i just want to connect him with you he said i just wanted to you know if you wanted to plug him in to something right and it's that willingness to plug people in that has built the strongest relationship you could possibly want between a mentor and a mentee, my mentor and myself. Now, what's funny is our mentorship, menteeship is really just more of a friendship now because it's, it becomes that way once you actually obtain a certain level. But see what that friendship really becomes is a network of willing participants of people who are willing to plug other people in. So I wanted to give you that real quick. I wanted to talk to you real quickly and, and try to impress upon you the need of networking. It's just a need, you know, and that's even well before um, I participated in BNI. BNI just helped coach me up and get me more used to it as a normal occurrence in my life. Um, and it helped me connect the dots. That's really what BNI helped me do. And believe it or not, I was already a promoter um, but I wasn't, we all have these opinions of people who do certain things, right? They do these things and we wonder and we have no idea who they are and why they do the things they do. And we make everything so complicated. We all do it, right? But the truth is this, guys. When you're getting these things accomplished, when you're doing these things, it, it seems like it was some complicated issue. I'd like to give the example of Tommy Matola and um, Mariah Carey. Um, if I remember correctly, in New York City, he met Mariah Carey at a restaurant. That was it. She was just a waitress, right? So she had a look and he asked her some questions and found out not only could she sing, she's probably one of the best singers that we've ever seen, especially when she first came out, because those notes that that lady was hitting are just, um, they were through the roof. It was diva level, right? But would he have ever known that had he not asked that question? And that's the same thing for your life. Your life is ready to open up for you like a flower. But will you ever know it if you don't ask the right questions, right? So I was taking a look at everything that we're doing and I was looking at Novatech. And I want to give you an example because Novatech has been coming in at roughly about 12%. Now, the statements I'm about to make are not financial. They're not to be viewed as financial advice. They're not financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. This information is only based upon previous things that have happened with Novatech. These are not things that we can predict in the future. If you want financial advice, you need to go see a financial planner, someone who has been certified in that area and holds license. So what I'm about to say as a friend, okay, is just looking at the monies that I have in Novatech right now, my monies has doubled over the last six months. Now, of course, I've been compounding and doing the right things with that money, right? And, you know, just personal, right? But I kind of looked at where banking was and banking is way beneath 1%, way far, 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 not even a cry of half a percentage is where banking is if I wanted to save some money in my bank account, right? So what I chose to do was I chose to start up a Novatech account. Originally, my, my first initial thought process was I would take $25,000. Um, but I kind of slowed it down and I built up some other things, uh, invested about 35000 with Chef Coco, did some other things um, and the like. But at the end of the day, guys, here's the deal. I have in there right now almost $13,000. I started with $6,500. With Novatech, because I did um, build a group, right, small group, not, not major, um, it did double in a little faster um, at a faster pace. Uh, but to give an example of someone who puts, say, eight to $10,000 in right now, 
If all they did was compound their money at roughly 12%, let's say 10 to 12% uh, per month, that's what it's making. 10% of an actual, um, what is it? Uh, $10,000 would put you at about a thousand. $8,000 would put you at about eight. So in 10 months of simply compounding month to month, their money would double. They literally could take out the amount that they put in, set it to the side, and operate strictly on interest. That's just one way of utilizing Novatech. Not something I'm telling you you have to do, not financial advice, any of that kind of stuff, but it just makes sense. And it, when you look at where the economy is and where everything is going, it really, really, really makes sense. So just keep these things in mind, guys. Then you also have the opportunity, did you know, that you could join Novatech, put $100 in, but go get a friend who puts in 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000, and guess what? You'll get a small percent, that won't be much, it won't be much, but you'll get something from that. Something that you didn't even have in your pocket. And that's why I like the power of what this is. It doesn't ask you to be an affiliate. You don't have to, to do that part. You can just compound your money and be happy. And it's better than anything that a bank will do. They're trading this cryptocurrency in the Forex um, market. They're, they're doing really, really well on the MetaTrader 5. But guess what? You don't have to do that. They do take a percentage, yes. You could make more if you were actually trading the money yourself, but you have to have the know-how and the skill set for that. And most people don't have the time, know-how, or skill to make that happen. You can build this as a team. It's paid out for years since it's been open. These are what we call wise investments, guys. These connectors, these things, are things that we find because we're willing to listen to someone else. We're willing to adhere. We're willing to network. We're willing to improve. God bless you all. If you haven't figured out the power of networking yet, hopefully you soon do. But what it really means is we are a family. That's who we are. And if you want to continue to build as a family, you got my blessing. God bless.